guys, today what are we doing? We are reacting to what nobody understands about Josh. Josh of SB knowing oh, in Josh. Baby Josh, okay. Let's see. By the way, before we go into the video, please check out our Patreon. Yeah, uh, we post some interesting content there. If you guys if you are curious enough, check it out. And let's go. Oh, I know this girl. This is the girl that did. Um, Dance. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen her. I've watched her videos before. Like two of them. Oh. Josh embodies the word charisma in the P-pop industry. Some people would even feel just to get a taste of his life. Surrounded by mm. by loyal friends and fans who would do everything for his success. Damn! I wanna do, I wanna live like Josh man. Fans who would do everything for his success. However, behind the golden facade hides the painful truth. From falsely accused of cheating in games to proving himself innocent by becoming a chip. Cheating in games, I don't think. I mean, I don't, it may be just too good. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't mm -hmm. think, and I don't f think it should be like it should feel bad if people are saying it's cheating game. It should actually feel proud because I've wa I watch a lot of games and I play games as well. So I don't know why it should. I, I don't know. Let's just say the full story first. Champion. Some haters even see him as the group's weakest link. So in today's video, haters will be proven wrong. Will be given inspiration because his journey is nothing short of electrifying. This guys, it is so cool. Let's go, Josh. Hey, 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 mm, hey, hey, mm, hey. Mm. <laughs> Josh Cullen Santos was born in Las Vegas City, Philippines. Yeah, he was Pena. raised by his mom, Aldrin, along with that's a, that's a Spanish name. And his sister, Yuna. Las Pena. He also had two other siblings who didn't grow up with him and they remain undisclosed to this day. Ooh. When Josh was three years old, they moved to Imus, Cavite. Having a single mom, Josh and his sister had to be entrusted to the care of a housemaid because their mom had to work away from home to support them. But instead of receiving care, they experienced hell at the very young age because this so-called housemaid physically tortured them by making them strip and pouring melted candle wax what? all over their bodies. I'm not even sure how long. Why? Wait, 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 wait. Why, why would... Okay, this is never going to do about Josh, but why would a housemaid think... Like, why would you do something like that? Why? This went on probably long enough that Josh was already able to remember it before the abuser got eventually apprehended and put into jail. Mm. He even shared that he still has the burn scars to this day. Josh on his was face. a smart kid as he was a oh, consistent honor student until he reached the third grade. This was when things started to take a turn for the worse. Josh had to drop out of school with his sister because their mom couldn't afford their tuition anymore. They re-enrolled the next year, only to drop out again for the same reason. So Josh's former classmates became his sister's classmates, which led to her getting bullied at school for being a repeater. There was an instance when Josh got into a fist fight against his own former classmates to defend his sister. Imagine how messed up that is. Anyway, their family's financial standing gradually went on a downward spiral. They were barely eating once a day. It even came to a point where they only ate salt, soy sauce, and ketchup as their buy-in dish. They moved homes constantly from medium-sized apartments to smaller ones. Now, I don't know exactly how their situation got so fucked up this quickly, but Josh openly talked about it on his YouTube channel. So going back, well, there was no denying that young Josh and his sister were in a very uncomfortable environment growing up. I can imagine how their living conditions could mess with their head, especially at a very young age. This was when their coping mechanisms started showing up. For Josh's sister, he was rebelling. 
She constantly got into intense arguments with her mom, so she was barely at home. Josh was even asked to look for her at some point, and that's when he found out that his sister had started drinking. As a young teenager, Josh didn't know how to handle the situation, so he kept it secret and took care of his sister in his mm -hmm. own way. Yuna even talked about this in public. <laughs> showcase that Josh already had a good heart from the start. Right. And if you think they already went through the worst, it only gets even worse. Josh got diagnosed with stage 3 dengue. And it was so crazy because they only found out dengue. about it when Josh started puking blood. So he immediately got hospitalized which meant draining their finances even more. The good thing about it was that they had a relative in the US who lent them some financial assistance. He gradually got better and got out of the hospital. They were fine for a while until their family's loans started piling up and there was nowhere else to borrow money from. They hit rock bottom to the point that they were forcefully evicted from their rented home and I don't mean just receiving an eviction letter but actually having a squad of authorities haul their belongings off the property. Josh saw this moment as his wake up call. He was so fed up with the situation so he decided to take matters into his own hands by leaving his family to become independent. He started working as an internet cafe attendant while crashing into his friend's house and didn't even mind sleeping on the floor. If his sister's coping mechanism was rebellion, his was different. He was gaming. Oh. He fell in love with highly competitive games such as Dota, Dance Dance Revolution, Call of Duty, and more. Do you remember the old stereotype when this look is considered as an okay player while well, this one is the epitome of someone who could give you a run for your money? Well, Josh was exactly that. He could build Lothar's Edge in 5 minutes and he used to visit nearby town's internet cafes with his buddies to play competitive Dota, Bioland, and one house of them. There was an arcade called Flashback in Cavite where the name Bite was commonly seen in the top score leaderboards. And guess what? Yeah. That name belongs to this kid. Yeah. His name earned the reputation of a DDR master. He even competed professionally and became a champion. He got so good at video games that when he started playing Call of Duty, most of his opponents mass reported him because they thought he was cheating. Uh -uh. Reality? That's something about gamers yeah once they once you see when someone is better than you ah it's cheating yeah. i do that sometimes i'm gonna lie ah, this guy's cheating mm -hmm. i do that sometimes but he was just too good yeah. this led to his account getting wrongfully banned so this was definitely a huge setback for him no no, no but i feel like like i mean he was already getting famous through video games right so he could literally just open a new account I don't know because that's how most streamers do. They ban their accounts and they just open a new one. Yeah. Because they have their followers on like YouTube or Twitter or or Twitch. It wasn't gonna go down without a fight because after a couple of years, he would join one of the biggest Call of Duty tournaments and end up winning the entire thing. We're down yeah. to just forty okay, to your uh, players left alive and yeah, an attempted backstab, yeah. but yeah, Josh is on the case. We want to congratulate you on your victory. I mean, you won the showdown, an incredible run. Uh, how do you feel? How do you feel right now? Well, I'm actually uh, really overwhelmed right now. 
Uh, honestly, uh, I didn't get to play Warza for the, almost like two years already. Uh, after <laughs> the what? two years already. Uh, after the after the <laughs> he did it live while thousands of viewers were watching. He didn't only prove that he wasn't a cheater, but he also showed that he was a force to be reckoned with as a gamer. By doing this, he earned the respect of gamers all over the world. Wow. Am I enjoying too much talking about Josh's gaming redemption arc that I forgot to talk about his job? Honestly, I don't mind. Sorry, <laughs> so while working as an internet cafe attendant, he started reviewing for the alternative learning system. Due to his innate brilliance, he easily acquired his high school diploma in around 2010, which is around the same time K-pop exploded in the Philippines. He inevitably got exposed to K-pop and immediately liked Big Bang, so he started going to Big Bang. Bang, Bang. The guy that sang with Jimin, Taeyang. Yeah, yeah, I know. Passed out performing in Seiyang. Josh became an instant fan. Work. Just take a look at his old tweets. Stealth mm -hmm. pretty much inspired him and made him want to become a performer. Josh's new quest was officially on. He formed a dance crew with his gaming buddies and they called themselves Big Bang. Big Bang. Or what? Wait! Did you download Gravity? The dance crew with his gaming that. buddies and they called themselves Big Bang. A Big Bang. Hey, Josh was lagging there. <laughs> Who's this? Is it? Okay, this is Josh, definitely. Yeah. I don't know what this time is, bro. <laughs> we all start somewhere, don't you agree? Back to his job, the family who owns the internet cafe he was working at apparently wanted to adopt him. But their oh. attitude towards him noticeably changed after finding out that Josh had started performing. They suddenly increased his 9 hour shift to 18 hours, which uh -huh. left no Josh looking quick. Wow. 18 fucking. Why? 18 hours. So 6 hours. How was he gonna sleep? Wait, how was he gonna live? Bro, 18 hours. That's literally almost a whole day. And someone here sleeps for 18 hours. The job. He was given only a week's notice, so he had to find a new one as quickly as possible. His best option was to apply as a call center agent. In his first two attempts, he passed everything except the final interview because he was lacking a college degree. Mm -hmm. So he tried to put college undergrad on his resume and that's when he got accepted. He finally found a stable job that allowed him to pursue his dreams. He continued performing, which led to him crossing paths with amazing performers such as C13 of SNJ, getting mentored by Stell and <laughs> Seon, competing against Ken's Amigos, and then becoming a mentor himself to Justin with Zero to Him. It's so amazing how he quickly evolved as a powerhouse performer even before the whole training thing with Show BT. Ah, that's that's a that's a BTS dance. That's a BTS dance. Yeah, yeah, I remember. In fact, he would become one of the biggest reasons why SB19 came to be because he was the one who recruited Ken and Justin. <laughs> Perfect! During their rise in popularity, Josh started hearing about his long lost father. Oh, for never, but. Uh, recently, mo parang pinagpakilala mo sa akin na kapatid mo ng father ko. Kasi no po, wala na to sa katinoang isip. So, nagpupo na lang. So fast forward to today, Josh is now a part of the greatest people boy group ever assembled, backed with almost unbreakable records and even more achievements in the It's crazy. They beat BTS butter. Like after like was this six or seven weeks? Records? Oh. Hmm? See like Bazinga. I mean what that's definitely Bazinga bro, honestly. Wow. Be first. We are gifted. Be first, we've checked we've seen yeah, yeah, be first yeah. before. Bro, the beats la the sal wow. Okay. Jean. Dimash. Dimash, yeah. Dimash. Any pen. Wow. Wow. And even more achievements in the years to come. And speaking of achievements, you can become an executive.
executive producer by signing off for our channel's highest tier. Not only you will help the channel, but you will also help the channel. I can't remember. Promoted worldwide through my videos. So after hearing Josh's story, would haters still think that he's the weakest link? In my opinion, it will be the opposite. He pretty much blew the haters away. Everything that he went through taught him exceptional skills that gave him an unfair advantage in his chosen field. And he doesn't even Oh, that's a nice trophy. Just take a look at this one. One more of this? He does pounds as well. Temporary? Check. Hip hop? Check. Girly? Check. <laughs> you can put a check as well on the musical instruments like the keyboard and the guitar. Even choreography. And talking about checks, how about fat checks? Because the dude is an investor and practices stock trading. It is even What's that, that though? because the dude is an investor and practices stock trading. It is even rumored that he's one of the richest SB19 members and makes the biggest business decisions for them. Wow. He gained the respect of his co-members because he's a survivor. He used his experience to keep the people around him involved, not just within his group, but also everyone in the music industry. He could easily become a life coach if he wanted to. Mm -hmm. Josh is simply the perfect example of talent and hard work. Which brings us to the lesson of his story. In his tale, we learn that no matter how broken your life becomes, everything will be fine as long as you don't break yourself. By not giving up, he slowly acquired different tools that would eventually allow him to fulfill his destiny. He believed that the best way to predict the future was to create it. So he kept learning and started surrounding himself with the best people available. He proved to us that failure only wins if we give it permission. And dreams to come true. It's just a matter of decision. Nice. Yeah. That was a nice video. Yeah. But why is it that all it's literally all of them that went through like some shit? Yeah. You know? Yeah, it's interesting. <sighs> like, wow. Who does them? Everyone mm, on earth. So. Yeah, everyone. But like you know, like in the K-pop, for instance, BTS, some of them went through some shit, mm. but look at Jin. No, Jin was from like a rich family and I started yeah. <laughs> like BTS yeah, literally true. picked them on the street and yeah, that's true. But literally all of them, the five of them, they went through some shit in their childhood. That's crazy. Anyways, what nobody understands about Josh of blah of SB19 and yeah, so see next time. Join our Patreon, please. <laughs> please join our Patreon. <laughs> that's what I want. Yeah, so see next time guys. Peace.